Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're doing a remake of a video. We had quite a few complaints about audio quality in this video, so here it is. We're building sunglasses case today. So print out the pattern and cut it out. You don't need to be precise at this point. Then place it on a ladder and use some masking tape to secure it. If you want to use it more than once, I recommend it to print it out on a thicker paper. On our website you can also find a laser cut file for this project, so you can create stencil from it. Right, we've got uh, everything glued in, we can start cutting out. Always sharpen your tool before you're cutting out, like you can see my one wasn't sharp enough. If you like this video so far, please hit the like button and you can subscribe to our channel. And if you like leather working, pop into our new website which is qcrafted.com. We've got plenty of interesting articles over there and loads of free patterns as well. When you have your pattern on a ladder, it's best to punch out the uh, uh, holes for the rivets. I forgot it here, so I had to place the pattern again and mark them. And now it's time to bevel the edges. This project is quite simple. It shouldn't take you longer than two working hours to complete it. I recommend to use a ladder about 2mm thick for this project. And the best choice will be Vegetan leather. This little piece is quite important because it uh, stiffens the glass case itself and it protects your glasses while they in a bag, so they're not getting squashed. Right, we got everything cut out, let's uh, punch some holes and uh, we can start dyeing process. This is good DIY project. I'll show you here how to use cotton butts uh, to dye the leather. Those days I'm using uh, cotton dowlers to dye the leather. They bit more efficient, but you can still use cosmetic parts. They're quite cheap and cheerful. There is still a little issues with using cotton buds. They don't soak in so much dye, and sometimes they can lose a little bit of a fiber. You can use heat gun to speed up the, the um, drying process. The only problem is it does affect the color, so do it on all the parts. Then apply a second layer of dye. If you don't want to use heat gun, you can also uh, dry it naturally. You can leave it on a heater or something. But obviously it's gonna take a bit longer to dry. When you finish dyeing the front, flip the leather over and dye it inside as well. If you don't mind having bright color inside, you can skip that part. Mm -hmm. 
on the flash side in this case I'm using Tokonol. It's quite expensive process. You can make it cheaper when you use Morse back, which gives you exact same effect as Tokonol. After you apply tokenol, spread it all out with cotton rag and then use wood slicker when it's slightly dry to polish it. I think I forgot to record that when you finish doing a flash side, uh, apply finish to the front of the leather. So we finish all the processing on the leather. Now it's time to stitch it all up. I use compost tool to mark up the stitching holes. Fold the case and then mark where the stitching line should finish. Just make sure on both sides you got the same amount of holes. If you're not sure how many holes you should have, use your prongs before you punch them out and calculate them. I'm not including amount of holes in to the pattern because uh, depends what prongs you're gonna use. And also, if you don't have any prongs, you can use compost tool to mark the stitching holes in the same way as I use the prongs in here. Finish this side and do the same on the other side. And when you have all the holes punched out, let's start fitting the snap rivet and the rivets itself. And this is little tricky part. So what I do, I take the nose bit, place it upside down fit the first rivet and then add two other ones to mount it. Sometimes when I'm using thicker leather for the cases, I skip that part and do the nose bit, which is only like a little strap without the fastener bit. There is few ways you can set the rivets. You can use anvil and a punching tool or you can use the presses. I prefer to use presses those days because I work from home and I don't want to make too much noise. the nose bit is fitted. Now it's time to do the stitching. For the stitching we used uh, 0 0.8 millimeters thick uh, wax thread and we use saddle stitch technique. When you do saddle stitch technique and you want to have same effect on the beginning of a stitching line and at the end of the stitching line. Start from a third hole from the beginning and then when you finish, finish on the third hole as well.
to have perfect stitching line, the most important thing is to have consistent movement. Do the same movement for uh, each hole and everything will come out nice. When you're cutting the thread off, just leave a tiny little bit so we can burn it with a lighter and it will create a little bowl which will stop thread from coming out. And last finishing touch is the edges. Use some sandpaper to Clear all the imperfections and then apply tokenol in the same manner as we did on the flesh side. If you have any question about this project, please leave us a comment below this video. And we're nearly done. The last bit is to nutrish the leather with knit's foot oil. This case is for sunglasses, so use it only on the outside. Thanks for watching and see you soon.